Hi, Mark Savage here. Hopefully you can hear me and see me. I had someone recently message me saying, Marky, how can we take you seriously when you look a scruff in your garage? All I can say is very sorry about that. I mean, does this make me look better? More, a bit dusty. Anyway, here I am in my garage. As promised on my last video, I said you can hear me better. Thanks to this little kissy. And I'm going to fit today the camera. So we're going to be fitting it in this left pocket, which I'll show you in a second. But we're going to fit in this camera. We'll have two of these back and front. Remember, one's 1080 and the other's 720. Better make sure I get it right before I put them on. I'm also a bit of bug when it comes to lights. I do like these LED ones. I think they're much, much better. And they're going to replace these old 501s. That's what they're called, 501s. When buying these, lovely sunny day in November, just make sure you get the error free ones. The reason why I say that is because otherwise they'll flash or just not work. Okay, so error free, 501s, that's what they are. Little bayonet. And I'm also tempted, while I'm fitting the cameras, to fit these little ones as well. Possibly go under here. They're very, very, very bright, believe you me. And with these LED and these LED, and with these, people are definitely going to see me. Now, as you know, I did a video recently about the exhaust. I'm not going to change them, so I'll be, make sure people want to see me, not necessarily hear me. But if you can't see me with this and still pull out in front of me, there's something seriously wrong with you. Now, there is a lot, a lot of work to be done here. Uh, this has got to come out. Um, I don't know how much panelling has come out of here because it looks very, very tight in there. Doesn't look any access from under here without taking lots of screws out. That's what I'm obviously going to have to do to get to these. And I think someone showed me something about getting in here before on a video I've watched recently. I mean, these are hard enough to change, but we're going to get to them. Now, I was convinced I'd be able to get it in here. And yes, I am right. Drill through here, come out, move all this out of the way. And I will be able to put that nicely flat with a bit of Velcro in there. And uh, probably better than my other one, actually. So that looks like a thumbs up. Just got to work out the wiring, because obviously I want a camera at the front and I want a camera at the back and the hard drive unit in there. Now, on the Triumph Trophy, I was able to chase along the top of the tank. This may need the seat up and, and lots of bits and bobs off, um, quite in depth, I guess. Anyway, we're going to get on with it, as I say. Take panels off, and that's why I'm doing three things at once. If you remember other videos as well, I've got a horn, and that's a mega loud horn. It is in there. If I get enough panels off and have a look at it, I'm going to stick this on here as well. And if you don't see me, they're going to bloody hear me with the horn, aren't they? Right, let's get on with it, as I say. Next, we're going to see lots of panels everywhere. I'm not going to video that because it will just take time and annoyance, but I will show you what I take off to get to the front. If it's, well, I've got to do it, I want to do it, so let's have a look. So, so far, I've had to take the whole screen mechanism off. And there's lots of little push rivet bits on here. I took with these screws out of here. And nothing. No access whatsoever down there. So that was a waste of my life. So I came down to here and I took this out of the way and then realised you've just got to ram your hand up here as high as possible so you can feel the 501 and then pull on it. I can't see any other way. Maybe taking this off, and again, I think you've got to put your hand down this way, maybe. It's one of the uh, most complicated bikes I think I've worked on. I mean, all right, some of the peds are really bad with all the panels, but you're never quite worried on a ped you're going to damage anything. On this, you are, you know, popping bits and bobs. I mean, a lot of these little pop ones, and they're, they're quite good, actually, rather than screws and couple of Allen ones here. But still, definitely change them. The reason why I wanted it all off was I was going to connect them extra lights. I need a positive and negative, and I was going to chip off of this. If I can't get to it, I can't see it, I'm not about to get it out. I don't know if it's got enough lead to pull it down. It may be just a pull out, fumble, and push back in again. And that's not clever, is it? Pretty piss poor design there. Should have made it so you could get off and get it easier. I mean, all right, I'm sure there's a mechanic out there that says, oh, you've got to take the headlights off and do whatever. But yeah, so that's uh, most certainly not an easy trick to do. Anyway, I thought I'd show you so far, which is actually nowhere in 20 minutes. It's just a case of popping things out and looking round. If I can change that 501, I'll change that 501. 
at least now I've got a route to get the cable up and hopefully into the power source. Now, battery on this one is this side here. And while I'm uh, going to be having the battery off, I'm also going to put a connector on there for charging the battery and run the lead down here. Just in case I leave it for a long while, I know I can charge it, can't I? Camera goes in here, power source here, doing camera under here, and one somewhere at the back. Well, so far, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> right, let's see how I get on. Never say never. I'm cut to pieces on my arms. Um, camera, nicely placed and drilled in. 501s is literally a fumble in the dark. But they're both in. I think they don't look too bad. I mean, like the sun's shining at present minute. But I think they look quite nice. Yeah, and the camera's just nicely, might have twist around a bit. That's taking me forever. And I'm still no further along, really. Oh, I've got the two 501s in. I'm not going to connect them little extra lights in. There's just no way of connecting the wires without getting, I don't know how many more bolts I've got to take off. I'm now into just undoing two of them and taking these two out here. It still doesn't move. Uh, the stereo's in here, so I can't take it out. I'm guessing it somehow it levers out. Well, there's a plate in there. Um, on one good note though, I did find the uh, water bottle, which is on the left hand side. I thought maybe I might have to take this off and go up that way. But unless it's this one off and then the whole panel lifts out maybe. I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit of a bugger. Not working on these before. So fresh, but bloody hard. I'm undoing bolts everywhere and I've got my little piles of bolts where I took them from and where I've took these two from and where that goes. I've still got the screen to put back on yet. I'll give it a clean while I'm there though. It's not been fun. Still got to put the back camera on and the seat will come up and I'm reckoning that will wire through. Power supply, I reckon that'll be all right. But getting this camera in here, I think it's going to be a real bugger. No matter where you seem to take panels off from, they don't come up. Maybe I've got to take the tank off. I mean, it does seem an awful lot of work, but, well, it's got to be done, isn't it? I'm going to top the water up. One bonus, I guess. This is all I want to tell you I'm on the home straight. Found the shock and the fuses. Remember the last video I said you need to put this to the fuse and not the battery. Got to the battery now and I've got one of these chargers. So I'll be fitting one of these connectors onto here and dangling it somewhere I can get to so I can charge the battery and I'm not riding it. So battery connected. Then I've got to connect the power source for the DVR here and run that through that way. Lots of little gadgets in there. However, can you see it? Um, probably not as good as the other one I had. I had to angle it differently. I didn't want any light bleed. I don't want to put it under here because it's only plastic. So it's in there. And the wires coming through there, I'll block that with a bit of gum glue in there to stop any detritus getting in water and stuff getting in the back here. So let's put the wiring into it. So at this stage in time, I can say both cameras back and forth are on. Fibre ones are there and I have a power lead to it. I'm not putting the extra bits on it. And then I've got to work out what the hell I've got to do here. I might even put the screen back on because it doesn't look like I can do anything there. Still a lovely sunny day in my eyes. Anyway, obviously professional. I will get on with it, but it's been hard work. You literally keep having to take lots of bits off. You know that bit where I say, remember where things are, watch these videos and so on. Luckily, I'm sort of quite proficient in knowing where things are, but water topped up. I know where the shock is now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming along. Just this little bit. Hopefully the next part you'll see that I've worked out how to do it. So where am I now? Fading light, getting dark, it's taking me an awful, awful long time. Camera at the back, camera at the front. It's now on charge. I now have power. Now that was a massive fuse, nothing to do with it. So I've chipped in back here onto another live circuit to the back of the bike that goes on and off. And I've now connected the wires through to here to have it here. And in theory, this should put it there. In theory, this should. And happy days. And there we have front camera. Now the back camera obviously needs moving. So we can just undo that and then turn the camera to whatever way 
we need it and we have a nice set they look much better in the dark as it gets dark now don't they nice set of 501s they almost look like four-way because of the way it shines i'm quite impressed with that shame we couldn't get the other one on and there's the front camera nice and more importantly it turns off now obviously as the battery charged up it'll probably last 30 seconds like the other one did but i'm not 100 sure i couldn't read the manual that well lots of cars going back and forth anyway screen's going to go back on now i'm not going to carry on tonight all i've got to do in theory now is seat it in there a few drill holes in there let's have a look at the front lights first very nice and there we have our views front and rear there's the motorbikes and there's the front car and that's slightly zoomed in which i'm actually happy with so all in job done a little bit of tidying in there maybe i mean it's not too bad is it it nicely fits in there and it turns on that's what nicely sits in there and it's shut job done and the front camera and a little bit dark i know but there is the rear camera you wouldn't notice it i am a happy bunny had to take the tank slightly up and run the wires under here but they're all nicely in now and i pushed it down a little bit with my hand lifted the rubber mat up and managed to get three little holes in there and push the wires through so now it's on and off when i turn the bike on and off my lights are now much better than they were before the side ones anyway thank you for watching hope it's been an insight into how hard some things can be all the nuts bolts and screws are now back in where they're supposed to be everything works i did check Next up will be a ride on this and a vlog and we can watch what the dash cam looks like as well. Still not sure about the microphone, hopefully this is better than last time. Um, some people said that this sync slightly went out, um, I have to keep an eye on that. I don't know if it's editing or whether it is this but hopefully you can hear me and I look professional rather than scruffy. And uh, so far so good, so I'll do a vlog on how this is faring up to what I expected in all weathers. Uh, gear change and so on and I still want to have a go at seeing whether how far this mic goes in a car following me and seeing what that sounds like I think that'd be quite cool as well right thank you for watching please like share and subscribe take care of yourselves on the road